Hi my friends on Hatari Water, this time we are going to do a nice Python tutorial to understand the precipitation patterns over Germany this time. So for this tutorial we have done this interactive tool on Jupyter where we can select from precipitation image that those precipitation images are about 30 minutes each and those are downloaded from a NASA server and this dataset is called Emer. So what we can see here is that based on the scroll on the arrows or or over our over this bar we can pass each from each image to the next one and we can see some precipitation trends uh, maybe we can see that there is rain over Bayern and there is no rain over the north of Germany and neither from like this zone that it will be Baden-Württemberg so and then we can see this pattern is consistent with the next one and then, then we see that, the, that this rain was not longer um, on Bayern so it's on dry conditions this is very powerful because it allows you to to play around and to see which is the the patterns, the precipitation patterns and since those are NumPy array and NumPy arrays you can do maths and then you can do statistics you can do arithmetics or like you can do whatever you want with this data because this is not actually data that is that is actually a matrix this is the visualization of a matrix okay so like and then you can play around as you see this code is done in python 3 and okay so we are going to in this tutorial we are going to to look and to to talk about which is which were the main the main features of this code. So we are using Jupyter. So first of all, we restart and clear output. So we start restart and clear outputs. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, what we have done is this: on the data that is enclosed to this to to this exercise, you will find this uh, on the links of this video. You will find these uh, the links to this uh, of the GitHub of my GitHub uh, site, where you will find this URL. This URL is actually a command or like a command is like a URL that charge the this Giovanni the bridge between data and science done by the NASA where we will see an animation and then we put plot data so we can do plot data like this one and then we wait a little bit because uh, in fact we are not going to see the Giovanni server has the ability to show us some animation but we are not going to to show it what we are going to to get from this is a link where we can download all the files those are in fact 192 files so and this is really not not feasible by working by hand for example okay successful starting data visualization okay so we hope to we go to lineage and lineage we have we go to post processing and then we we download all the files okay yes you see we download all the files and i have it already done it so it's here and then you will see here a list of 192 urls where you can download one image per 30 minutes those are from the 1st to the 4th of November of 2015 okay so the code the, this code actually opened this actually opens the the file and this code and this oh sorry I 
you run it with this and this cell is actually retrieving the data from the NASA server in our in this folder in this folder okay so I will do it for maybe for five images yeah and this process is it takes two or three minutes and it's and it will download each uh, it will download each image and put it on the server so if you see like here like here you see these are the most recent ones and these are the older ones but we in fact in this we don't need it to do it so I will stop this one just for you not to not to have or maybe who knows let's oops sorry oh, just stop it okay oh, so then we call to files we we see where we I'm running this on Mac so we see where we are this globe file actually treats all files from the from our from the from the folder and as a one list so it's a very functional list so I'm, I'm running this from my keyboard but I will run it so I will run this by this and then we did and then we we define a netcdf a function for netcdf opening and then what we do is we select the the netcdf is actually a raster and it comes with the with some limits for the representation so because it's geospatially enabled so we have these ones and then we collect all the 192 uh, image as one big numpy array why not and then we need some package for rendering the maps and then with this function very beautiful function we did we do the interactive representation and interactive representation could take a little bit I suggest for you to rerun this so run it again cool so here you see this is the representation and uh, this this is actually a blue marble um, blue marble image and these are the limits well the conceptualized limits of Germany that is uh, because we are working with the uh, base map library of matplotlib so if we uh, actually on this image is giving us that there is no precipitation on those days because if you see here it's zero but on um, no, not this day this half an hour there was no precipitation over Germany but um, we are running this on this time at this time there is precipitation over Germany so and if we go I will go with my arrow with my left arrow to the next one we can see some precipitation like cool is very is very powerful and uh, this in fact is a representation of NumPy array so actually you can get you can get the value of the precipitation density for this for every point because this is a raster and this is a there is information over there so I hope that you got the spirit and you got the capabilities of Jupyter Notebook to search for to search for for this um, to to explore and to analyze the precipitation patterns. Okay, um, I will drop my I will drop my email. Let's say for any questions or if you have for any questions yes write me to yeah uh, if you have some 
if you want to plot this on another areas or like if you want to to apply this kind of tool to a specific topic or like if you might want um, another case like just write me and then we will see if it's feasible to to plot a to put a tutorial or like to do something else okay so my email is saulmontoya at www.gidahatari.com and it was a pleasure to, to talk to you this time please follow us by twitter twitter hatari water uh, facebook hatari water and please follow us by this on this um, please follow us on this youtube channel okay it was a pleasure to to talk to you this time and we hope that we can meet us on a later post thank you bye bye